Hello, this is Nick, also known as Mr. Blend 5000, coming to you once again with a blend tutorial. So, I recently got a request to make, well, to show you how I make my sky domes. So, here we go. I do it somewhat abnormally. Um, I guess it all really depends on the kind of environment I'm looking for. Um, as you can see here, I have it already pre made, but we are going to go through how I did that. And all it is, is I took a plane flipped it upside down, made it really big, and used my proportional editing tools, which are located way the hell over here, I think. Where the hell? Oh, we have to be in edit mode. Located right here, and I made it into a dome and put some texture on it. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how I did that. All right, we're going to go over to our next frame here. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And yep, 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 and go into top. What the hell? And go into top view, just like this. And since we don't have a default cube, we can't delete it. Oh my god. Plain. You know what? This doesn't feel right at all. This does not feel right. Here's a default cube. He's back. He's back to get vengeance. And now he's gone. Okay. And we're going to add a plane. It's a normal plane. And we're going to, let's just make it for now approximately the size of the grid. Um, we'll definitely size it up later, no worries there. And this is just going to be the ground. Very simple, very easy to do. And we're just going to put a UV texture on it, highlight it. We're going to go over to our images. We're going to open a new image. We're going to go to the file where it's contained. Uh, my favorite is this little desert ground I have here. Oh yeah, this is the bomb right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice. Okay, here we go. So, now that we have a ground, we need to build a skybox. So you know what we're going to do? This sounds crazy, but we're going to add another plane. Oh yeah, that's what we do around here. Crazy things. We're a crazy little bunch over here. And we're going to want to, since if you go down below the plane right now, I'm not sure, you can't see it. And what's the use of having a skybox if it's invisible? So what we're going to do, there's two things we could do. We could either rotate it on the X or Y axis at 180 degrees and flip it over. Or, there's an even faster way. You tab it over to edit mode and you hit flip normals. Shazam! And now that we're already in edit mode, we can do some subdividing. Do Size it up, do some more subdividing. And we're just going to size the crap out of it. That looks about right. And now once you have your severely subdivided plane, you're going to select the center vertice, the very center. It should be, it should be uh, signified by these little crosshairs here, which determine the x, y, and z axis. Just putting it out there, it's a very good habit to use these when you're doing game engine, because when you're selecting your... Um, your, sim your motions here that goes X, Y, and Z, and for some reason your these will change depending on how you added your object, I think. I think because these don't always work the same for me. So I find it makes it a lot easier when you work with these things. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure if I'm right, but it works for me, so I'm just going to keep doing it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our proportional editing tools, my favorite little friends. Yep. And mine are already turned on, on the smooth falloff option. You know what, actually, I'm feeling spherical falloff. Let's see how this works. I haven't tried it with sphere before, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. This, this should be a, a little adventure. And we're gonna want to do it just so the edges aren't affected. And... Hello! Alrighty, I'm back. I had to pause it there. I imagine I probably could have gotten away without telling you that. I, I paused it, but I kind of didn't think of that. Anywho, back we go. And after we have our little plane with a giant bulb, bulbous thingy on it, we're going to go over here and add a UV texture. So that's what we do over here. We add UV textures. We like doing that. And let's open up an image. I'm just going to go out and assume you already have an image you want to use for your sky. So, yeah. And let's see what I can find here. 
red CL. I think that's the one I used for lava escape. God, maybe. Oh shoot, I forgot to highlight everything. Oh, forgot to highlight it. I'm just gonna go over here. Yes, it is. Awesome. This is the one I used for lava escape. But whoa, what the hell's going on here, Mr. Blend 5000? That does not look like a sky. You are very correct. It does not look like a sky. So we're gonna do this little thing right here. We're just gonna hit you our U key and hit unwrap. Oh wow. Does that not look beautiful? Let's go see what our if our camera agrees with us. Let's go see what what's what's our camera doing over here? What does he think? Hello camera, what are you thinking of this? Oh, our camera's thinking that sky is up way too high. In fact, Let's just not even use the camera because the camera's silly right now. Because I forgot to add one, <laughs> and we're just gonna size. We're gonna size our ground up so it goes outside of uh, skybox. We want the skybox to be relatively large, like really big. And there we go. And you're gonna have this problem where you're gonna. Once you get it big enough, it's going to stop appearing, as you can see, like that, yeah. Now, how are we going to fix that? Well, I'm just going to go over back to my... Uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna, whoa. We're going to go back to the first one. Get our camera. Move over here. Oh, shoot. What did I just do? Where's, I need to get my camera back. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, I did move it over there. Oops, I'm just silly. We're going to get our camera, bring it up over here. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. Camera, camera. And we're, whoa, look at those arrows. We're just going to get rid of those for now. Yep, 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 yep. Mm, I don't like this angle very much. Oh, whoa. Looks like we're going to be looking sideways at this thing. But look at that. Skybox. Looks pretty good to me, I suppose. I mean, it could be better. You could make this a lot better. Exponentially better. But, you all have to remember I am lazy. And this is pr this is the basis. Like, once you can do this, then you can, you know, I guess you can, you know, add subsurfs, make it smoother. Set smooth, you know, do all those things that just make it better. You know, size everything differently, adjust it. You get the gist of it. I'm just giving you the initial idea right now. And that's one of the greatest skills you can have in Blender, is being able to take a simple idea and turn it into something beautiful. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting a little too deep there. Someone smack me. Thank you. Anywho, this is about it. That's how I do it. Um, if you just go in, if you're just on YouTube like you are right now, if you're watching this video, just type in Skybox Tutorial, and I know there's a few really good ones. Um, I learned my my Skybox is from Ira Krako, um, if that's how I pronounce his name, I'm not quite sure. Um, he has a really good tutorial, so I'd recommend that. Um, other than that, just search around somewhere, and you can find some really good ones. So, yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you all later, I suppose. Well, not really see, but we've gone over this many times, so yeah. <laughs>